Hello friends, welcome back to online math. So, let us solve this stuff right here. Okay, so to solve this, you just need to remember that this x, 5 for x right here, is also same as 5 for x raised to power 1. Okay, and then of course it's equal to this is, or rather, this is minus 3 power x, and of course, it's still power 1 is equal to 16. It is still basically the same thing and then i am actually going to go ahead to rewrite this one here as 2 power 2 divided by 2 minus okay so 3 power x i will also write this one here as 2 divided by 2 which is the same as 1 and this whole thing is equal to 16 okay so next i am actually going to rewrite this one to so this is actually going to be 5 power x, okay? And then power, I can rewrite this as 1 over 2 multiplied by 2, okay? Minus 3 power x, or is the power 1 over 2 multiplied by 2, and then it's equal to 16, okay? So that I can actually go ahead push this 1 over 2 outside. 1 over 2 inside here so if i do that i'm going to be having x multiplied by 1 over 2 so i will have 5 power x over 2 all raised to power 2 minus i will see the same here. 3 power x divided by 2 and all raised to power 2 and then of course it's equal to 16 Okay, so what I'm gonna do is just to make some substitution right in. So I'm actually gonna set a five power x divided by two to be equal to let's say a. And then I'll set this one, three power x divided by two to be equal to b so that my equation now reduces to a power two. And then of course minus b power two and this will be equal to 16 okay so this is now the difference of two squares which of course you know that this is same as a plus b and of course multiply by a minus b is equal to 16 okay so i can actually write this 16 there as if uh product of these factors which is just um, 8 uh, multiplied by okay and that's being the case we can actually see that these two terms here which is multiplying to give us this uh, 16 right here that a plus b is strictly bigger than a minus b okay and then of course we can see that a plus b will be equal to this 8 right here and then a minus b will be equal to the second term 2 okay so we can solve these two equations simultaneously okay so we can just add the two equations this plus this will give us 2a and then this plus this is 0 is equal to 8 plus 2 is equal to 10. so if we divide through by the coefficient of a we're actually going to be seeing that a is equal to 5. and then of course if you want to also find out the value of p okay you can just go ahead to subtract the two equations so this minus this will be equal to zero so let me just do it right here and then this minus this will be equal to 2b is equal to 8 minus 2 will be equal to 6 so that we now have that this is 2b is equal to 6 and then for you to get your b you just divide through by the coefficient of b and that's 2 so b is equal to so we've gotten the value of a and b but don't forget we actually set our a and b to be something else. so we actually set our a to be equal to 5 power x divided by 2 and our b to be equal to 3 power oh, x divided by 2 Okay, so for A, we've got A to be equal to 5, so we'll say 5 is equal to 5 power x over 2. This is also 5 over 1, so because they have the same base, we can actually cancel the, 
the basis and then equate to the power so that you see that one is equal to x divided by two so that obviously x is equal to two from here and of course if you also solve from well from the b part you will also get the same value so this will be three is equal to three power x divided by two if you cancel this okay you see see that x over two is equal to one which of course implies that x is still the same as two so whichever one you solve you get the same value for x and then of course you want to find out whether this does satisfy what we just solve is five power x minus three power x and is equal to 16 so we want to find out whether x or equal to 2 will satisfy this equation so if you put it right there so this is 5 power 2 minus 3 power 2 will that be equal to 16 this is actually 25 minus 9 and obviously 25 minus 9 is equal to 16 okay that is how you solve this and then let me have a thought in the comment section thank you so much for watching and then subscribe to our channel turn on the notification icon and i'll see you guys in my next video bye